Welcome to SSA Architecture YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the door pressure gauge. Whether you're managing commercial buildings, schools, hospitals, or any space with heavy foot traffic, this device helps maintain compliance with safety standards while also making doors easier to operate. So what exactly is a door pressure gauge? Well, it's a tool used to measure the amount of force it takes to open or close a door. This is especially important for fire doors and accessible doors. It helps ensure that the door doesn't require excessive force, which could be a safety hazard, especially for people with disabilities. Measuring door pressure is critical for two reasons, safety and accessibility. First, in case of emergencies, a door that requires too much pressure to open could delay evacuation or access for emergency exiting and services. Second, for compliance with the ADA, Americans with Disabilities Act, doors in public buildings must meet certain force requirements to be easily usable by people of all abilities. Now, let's talk about how to use a door pressure gauge. First, you'll want to push back the black washer to zero so that you can read the pressure applied to open a door. Then position the gauge above the handle. Slowly push or pull the door using the gauge. The reading will show you the amount of force being exerted. Make sure you're doing this in one continuous motion for an accurate reading. Once the door is fully open or closed, check the reading on the gauge. For instance, Right now, it shows 2.5 pounds. Ideally, for ADA compliance, the force should not exceed five pounds for interior doors. If the force exceeds the recommended level, you'll need to adjust the door closer or the door itself. In some cases, you may need to lubricate hinges or check for any obstructions. In summary, the door pressure gauge is a simple yet effective tool to ensure that doors are functioning properly and are safe for everyone to use. It helps with compliance to safety codes and standards while making spaces more accessible. While this information is offered for general information, please be aware that reliable determinations are typically attained via experienced professionals because other factors and requirements often apply. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tools that keep your building safe and functional.